Data is emerging on the impact of multidisciplinary team approach on motor function for people with Parkinson's disease. Some models have also shown that there is potential for reducing the burden of healthcare costs when implementing a truly multidisciplinary team. There is no established standard of care for patients with advanced Parkinson's disease. Although the guidelines recommend multidisciplinary team approach, clarification on how it should be implemented is not provided. This article provides a literature overview of the evidence for multidisciplinary interventions in Parkinson's disease and provides expert clinical perspectives for MDT approach focusing on advanced Parkinson's disease and its treatment with levodopa, carbidopa, and intestinal gel. Multidisciplinary team key recommendations are do not miss the moment of opportunity by referring the patients too late. Refer patients with Parkinson's disease to establish movement disorder centers in a timely manner. Advanced therapies can help patients to improve mobility. Create a fixed network structure of different healthcare professionals. The MDT network may include up to 20 different healthcare professionals with a movement disorder specialist and a PD nurse specialist being essential members in the MDT. The networks will include stakeholders within the community near the patients for comprehensive patient care. When implementing advanced therapies, include specialists from adjuvant medical departments in the MDT. These may, for example, be radiologists, gastroenterologists, neurosurgeons, dependent on the advanced therapy used and needed. Establish regular meetings and informal ways of sharing information to the key members in the multidisciplinary team for an optimal learning environment and exchange of information. Obviously, it is essential for all this to be successful that patients and caregivers receive appropriate education about advanced treatment options earlier in the treatment continuum. Patient and caregivers should be seen as partners in the MDT. In this article, different models of multidisciplinary care from Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain and Canada are presented. As an example, the complex, but not complicated, multidisciplinary model from Klostrup Hospital in Copenhagen depicts the interaction between all the members in the multidisciplinary team supporting the patients with Parkinson's disease as well as the caregiver. In this model, the PD nurse takes much of the pre- and post-procedural responsibility and thereby serves as a primary contact for the patient, caregivers and community nurses. It is important to know that there is no one-fits-all approach. The models discussed in this review may need to be adapted to local needs and can be used as an inspiration. We hope that this article provides a rationale and guidance on how to effectively implement a multidisciplinary team when working with advanced Parkinson therapies. The focus on levodopa, carbidopa, intestinal gel used in this article is an example of a model and is supported by practical experience of the authors. Patients with other advanced therapies may also benefit from the same MDT structure supporting the patient.